Oh, right, there. So I'm going to go through my song about Simon that I performed in Sam's session on week four with Will. Um, him on the drums. So for this song, I would absolutely love to perform it with an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar as well. But the inconvenience of that is quite astounding when you can't really move all your equipment around with you. Um, so I, I just used the electric guitar on a clean setting for that and that worked perfectly fine. Um, as for the riff itself, I, I wanted it to be quite a simple riff that's uh, quite folky in nature. It's fairly inspired by Iron Maiden in a way of the, uh, <laughs> it's a 3-4 rhythm song with uh, with a very standard picking pattern of the we well, see it a lot of Steve Harris do on the bass. Um, so that's the sort of style I wanted to get with this song. That and the the vocal melody, I wanted it to be very chantable and very easily recognisable for people to get involved in with me when I'm singing the vocals. They're very chantable, very memorable lyrics, lines in this, especially during the chorus, which repeats four times, once in the intro, two times in the middle of the song, and then once towards the end, where the solo is, and it fades out with the vocal melody. Now, in mine and Will's session, we had to cut this slightly short and we just ended it on the chorus itself anyway because switching it between clean distortion and fading out is very hard to do without the right instruments and setup for that so we just did it that way instead um, but uh, usually I would have it fade out with the acoustic guitar and then maybe like a harp or a piano or something like that and the uh, a, a nice flute over the top of it so it's quite uh, folky sounding quite celtic and that's what i wanted to go for with it so the riff itself goes like this <laughs> that doesn't really change all that much throughout the whole song really it's very similar all the way through except for a few minor differences on the distortion and during the verses the verses play <laughs> so I just use the E minor instead anyway and then during the heavy verses it goes so that you get a bit more um, of a dynamic boost in that section of the song. Um, it lifts it up a lot more and generally just makes it sound heavier during that section and that's, that's what I want from it. I want it to boost up so that when my vocals do lift up into that chorus to get people involved, it makes people go, wow, okay, I want to get involved with that because I don't want to be singing at the same level all the time. I want to excite people. I want to make them feel like they can be involved with my music and my melody that I've written here. So um, the melody itself with the acoustic guitar goes like this. Through all those nightmares and horrors I see Through all those demons and monsters I slay Bonds Labbot is what I was given Found in some tears and sorrows to spill So, very chantable, very easy melody to get into and remember and it repeats quite a bit during the song so it will get stuck in your head quite well so it's really good for that as well um, that's, that's my 
whole purpose. I want people to sing along to this. I want them to get involved with it. I want them to feel this song. I want them to feel the emotion I put into my voice when I'm in this song and really project it out there so that they can get involved with it. It's that sort of song that I want everybody in the room to lift their lighters up to and get involved and sing along with everything and just and that's the whole purpose of the song. Like the song itself is called A Bard's Lament Tavern Song. I wanted it to be a song that I can go to a pub, pick up the guitar and sing along and everybody gets involved with it. That's what I want from this song. I wanted to do that, exactly that. Because there's all all the other songs that I've written and stuff. A lot of them are complicated, and a lot of them do have a lot of call and response as well to get people involved, but I find that I'm always fixed to that spot, playing that guitar, stood there in front of the audience in that position all the time, and it gets boring. So I want to move around, I want to play this acoustic with a some sort of wireless headset, which I have as well, for live use. Walk around, play this, and get people to sing it with me. That is what I want from this song. So when I'm singing this melody also, I also put different emphasis on my vocals. It's very theatrical. I want people to get involved with that. So I make it theatrical so that it comes across like I want them to get involved and sing it with me. So live, I would shout. Okay, so we're going to sing this melody together and then sing, and then I'd sing the melody to show them what they sing and get them to sing it back to me so they remember it before the song even starts. And then they can get involved with it as it goes along and sing along when the chorus comes, which is always really nice. And it's a very memorable position in the song to get into so you understand where it's going to be, where you come in to sing. Now for my vocal technique for the song, I opt to sing with quite a high timbre and quite bright sounding so that it cuts through the mix a bit more, especially it goes well with the acoustic and it sets the vibe that I want. I don't want it to be a really dark, deep, miserable song where everyone's just kind of getting lulled to sleep. No, I want it to be something that um, punches through and gets people to go yes okay I'm gonna sing I'm gonna sing with him I'm gonna do that and I've, I've gone over that multiple times but I can't stress it enough that is what I want so with my high timbre and theatrical vocals like through all those nightmares and horrors I'd seen I, I, I deliberately I deliberately change my vocal tone in those parts so that instead of going seen, I go seen, seen, or I really emphasize the vibrato or the timbre on that and then make it really kind of like I'm telling a story, I'm telling this, I'm trying to get you to sing it and that's what I want from the vocal part of the song. And as for the guitar part, I don't really play it with fingers because it's a little bit... it's nice uh, the pick just gives it a bit more just a bit more attack and it makes it stand out a bit more the finger picking I'd probably do it on a recording along with the picked guitar but not live because of that reason and also, generally, it's just easier to play it with a pick as well. Those five note sequences. Anyway, thank you. So that is my analysis and what I do for a Bard's Lament live. Thank you.